Hey guys, a few new pieces of exotic armor for titans and hunters were announced, but there's still a good handful of exotic pieces that have yet to make their way into the game. In this video, I'll go ahead and give a look at each one. Keep in mind that these may not come to the Taken King at all, but have been found via data mining and by the armory on Bungie's website. Alright, let's get started. First is a pair of hunter gauntlets titled Shinobu's Vow, which would improve both skip grenade and give you an additional skip grenade charge. These are, in short, the nothing manacles for the hunter, and could prove very useful if ever released. Definitely looking forward to these. Also included are a pair of hunter boots called the Frost EE5. These new boots will allow you to have a tighter turn radius along with faster grenade and melee regeneration. For Titans, first of the two new exotics to be released are the Thagomizers. The exotic perk for these will recharge your melee when getting Fist of Havoc kills and recharge Fist of Havoc when getting melee kills, so kind of like a vice versa thing. Also added was an additional melee charge just for good measure. Also I'm going to include a little fun fact because hey, who doesn't like a fun fact? The Centurion that gets taken actually is wearing the Thagomizers and you can see a picture right here. Okay, that's enough fun facts for one video. Also included for Titans was a new pair of boots called the Dune Marchers. These will give you increased sprint speed, fly distance, and allow you to move faster with an aimed weapon. Also a tighter turn radius is applied. Think of the Radiant Dance Machines, but for Titans with some added bonuses. As you Warlocks will recall, with the announcement of the new exotics, you were left in the dark. There are still three Warlock exotics floating around to the Titan and Hunters 2, so hopefully we can see one of these soon. But for now, here's what you can possibly look forward to. Ophidian Aspect are a pair of gauntlets coming soon that will allow improved siphon along with giving quicker reload and weapon ready speeds, causing for some fast gameplay. Astrocyte Verse is an exotic helmet that not only looks great, but has an amazing perk to go along with it. This perk will allow reduced blink cooldown and increased travel distance. Basically, the blink nerf that came in 2.0 never happened with this helmet. Go wild, Warlocks. Finally, we have the Transversive Steps, which I actually mentioned in my last video. These are the first exotic boots that the Warlock has received. With these equipped, you'll actually have faster movement speed while crouched. Also, picking up ammo will automatically reload that weapon type. Definitely some of the more interesting perks that will come in handy. While these were all the exotics shown, there are a few questions for a few weapons remaining, such as the Void or Solar versions of Thunderlord seen in the trailers for Taken King. These, unlike the armor pieces I just covered, were not listed in the armory, so chances of these coming to the game will be slightly be less than that of the armor. But if the time comes for that, I'll have a video for it. For the time being though, that'll about do it here, Guardians. Let me know which of these is your favorite in the comments below, and like the video if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny content.